Good afternoon. In this video, we have our tables set up. We have our in-feed table, we have our out-feed table, we have our part in our chuck. We have everything ready for the simulation. We just have to do one more thing before we can start programming, which is we need to modify our tool because right now, if we go in here and we grab this tool part, so let's double click the machine, and then we go to move to, you'll notice that our robot is now just touching this end right here but we need to be able to place this into the chuck so that means it needs to be moved away a little bit so this tool is way too long so we need to change our end of arm tooling so that it is able to move inside of our machine so let's do a modification of our tool so let's go into the actual tool double click the tool and then we're going to go to the general tab inside the general tab we're going to unlock all location values and then right here is our scale. So right now our scale is 1, 1, 1. So we need to change the Z scale on this. So let's go maybe half the scale or half the size, so 0.5, and you'll see that it shrinks. So that will probably give us plenty of room in order for us to get our robot inside here and place up our part. We may need to go a little bit further down, but now you'll notice that our grippers are no longer along with our robot. So we need to do some modifications on those as well. So let's close out of our gripper area. And now we need to open up one of the jaws. And we go to this jaw right here. And we're going to go to general. And we're going to edit the axis origin. And we need to bring the axis origin up. So we need to go in the, the extraction. So let's try 20 and see what happens when we do this. So X direction is actually that way. So that UCS is a little bit wrong. So let's go in here and let's actually try the Z. So let's go 100 in the Z direction. So it goes forward. So let's go backwards. So let's go negative. And now we get even closer. So let's figure out how, what direction we need to go in order to fit inside here. That looks pretty close. Let's actually try to dial that down to maybe 135. Too far. And that looks perfect. So 132 in the Z direction seems to be perfect for our object. So let's hit OK and let's do the rest of the jaws. So now that we have our jaws in place, we don't have to modify any of the other motions because the motion's just based off of in and out. So now we need to do is the U tool of this and the ch tool frame of this. So we're going to go hit OK, double click the actual tool, not the jaws, and we're going to go to U tool. We're going to edit U tool, and you'll notice the U tool right now is located at the center here. So we need to bring this in. So let's click this and we bring this in to where we want it to be so we'll say right there use current triad and right now it's at 215 so let's hit apply on that and the next thing we need to modify is the actual part so let's go to parts and let's click part one edit part offset and then we need to bring this in wherever we want it to be inside here so we could say right at the end just make sure we have plenty of room in order to get it into the chuck so if i go 250 on that that looks pretty good apply so now hit ok so now that we have our tool on let's turn it off so we can see it and then we can move into this placement and our jaw should not hit our chucks so we just rotate this around double click the machine and then we are going to go move to, and everything moves to. We are far enough away from our chucks, which we're good, and we look like we have plenty of space for back and forward. Just make sure we're not rotating this around and make sure we're not hitting the head. And it looks like we're probably going to hit the head, but it looks like we're going to have to kind of deal with this. It's not the best tooling for this. I'm just using a default. I would probably use some sort of custom tool that comes off the side with a little gripper so you don't even get the head of your robot to even be close to this. And most machines don't have this also in the way. So let's uh, rotate this around and let's just double check to make sure that everything didn't get messed up from us modifying our tool. So let's hit OK on here. Let's double click the table and let's go move to part one. Looks like everything is good. Let's go to the table 
on this side. And let's go move to. Looks like everything is good. Now everything is all set for us to be able to program now. So in the next video, we will actually program our pickup, our place, our pickup and place. So let's hit OK and let's start programming.